forever. Dog. No, I just saw Alina do this with her hand, and it made me think of scissoring. No, I did not. Oh, maybe I imagined. Why would I have done that? <laughs> Why would I? I think I, I might Elena be Alina shows literally shows shoulder for like two seconds, and we're like scissoring. <laughs> you, you want a scissor? Your neck. Looks Alina very, told me she wants a scissor. Your her collarbone is visible, and therefore we're gonna have sex right now. Literally, Elena gets femme for two seconds. Mac and I are like sliding off of our chairs. We cannot handle it. Oh We're like, there's a femme in the in the podcasting studio right now. This is so good. <laughs> I can't oh, breathe. Hi guys. Hi everybody. Hey. Welcome to the Chosen Family Podcast. I'm Mac. I'm Baby. <laughs> I'm Elena Joy, and I really don't feel good self-identifying as mommy. Like, Are you I, it, I doesn't feel right. I just said no. I am baby. You did, but you did, you and are, it was beautiful. But you are baby. Like, it works. That works to hear you say I am baby. It, I don't feel it works. I don't know how I feel about Ma- My name's Elena Joy, and I am mommy. No, Elena, nobody's asking you to say it like that. Literally, nobody <laughs> told you to say it like that. <laughs> Um, actually, guys, I have to admit something. I did, I did ask Elena to sexily whisper that she's mommy into the microphone. I Thank did. you, I Ashley. Did. I wasn't sure if Mac you were going to tell spat out their drink. <laughs> I appreciate you saying that. It's true. This is all on Ashley, who is, in fact, daddy. I am. Oh, what? Okay, so <laughs> Elena is looking very femme right now it changed up the i was not expecting to see such a femme elena whispering mommy into the mic oh mommy but it's very mommy and i i'm i was saying i'm here for dad's it. flustered are you okay <laughs> actually I'm fine. okay I'm just fine. like I'm for fine. the I'm listener fine. all i'm all that happened is i'm wearing like a like a a, a red tank yeah top. what are you what are you wearing Tell us about what you're wearing, Elena. <laughs> Child, do not ask me what to tell mommy, you what I'm wearing right now. Mommy, what are you wearing hey, right now, mommy? You up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, here's a question. How, Okay. what's the latest you've ever sent a you up text? I never have. I've, I've never, never done sent it. sent a you up text in my life. Never done it. We're your chosen family. We're like the family you never had because you're gay, you little bitch. And now we're going to be <laughs> there for you. Or maybe you're an ally. Or Come maybe hug you're us. questioning. Maybe you're curious. Maybe you're straight and you just love Max TikTok. If you're here, <laughs> if you're here, you're gay, and we are gonna talk as a family and get advice from one another, and then we are gonna give advice to you. You can write in on our Instagrams questions that you have. We are here every fucking week, you will bitch. Mommy, what are you wearing right now? <laughs> you up? You up, mommy? <laughs> Oh, no, no, I think I'm sleeping. I think that my phone is on silent and I am out. Do not, not seeing this till the morning. She's like, I'm on airplane mode and I'm off the grid. <laughs> no one can find me. <laughs> no, I'm just wearing, it's like, a, it's like a little red crop top that I haven't worn in a very long time. Oh, and how do you feel? So it? cropped. I like being like getting a little femme every once in a while. I just, I'm like looking myself in the, like in the camera and I, I have more muscles than i used to have no objectively you look so good you look good oh oh my god thank you yeah you look good <clears throat> yeah, affirmative you look great <laughs> <laughs> little family tension there respectfully respectfully very good looking <laughs> <laughs> all right oh, okay i really need that fan back on <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> We are, Mac, what are you looking at? What's out the window? Oh, uh, wait, what was your thing squirrel. you were going to do? Weren't you going to do a thing? Huh? You just Wasn't didn't. it like, are we? Are there people scissoring in the window? What are you doing right now? What are you saying? <laughs> what? Mac, what are you no, saying? No, no, no. No, I just saw Alina do this with her hand and it made me think of scissoring. No, I did not. Oh, maybe I imagined Why would I have done that? <laughs> Why would I? I think I, I might Elena be Elena shows, literally shows shoulder for like two seconds and we're like, scissoring? <laughs> you, you want a scissor? Your neck looks Elena very, told me she wants a scissor. Your her collarbone is visible, and therefore we're gonna have sex right now. Literally, Elena gets femme for two seconds. Mac and I are like sliding off of our chairs. We cannot handle it. Oh we're like, there's a femme in the in the podcasting studio right now. This is so good. 
I can't oh, breathe. This this podcast is so chaotic. It's crazy. Um, <sighs> and what? Are, and Ashley, what did we learn last week? What are we doing about it? Letting. No, it we're gonna host the fuck out of it. We're gonna we're, host. No, we're hosting. We're, <laughs> we're hosting. We have to host. We, I am daddy. I must be in control. I am hosting. That's what I'm doing. We are all, we're at the dinner table right now, and we're going to do a little catch-up, yes, as catch we up. like to do each week, before yes. we answer some of your audience questions. Anyone have anything to share? Because if not... My motorcycle got delayed in its delivery. I think that's a sign did, did that you shouldn't your, be riding the motorcycle. Did you just lose your driver's license? In Georgia, I did. Motorcycle. <laughs> I'm fine in Missouri. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm okay. fine in Missouri. I've got a nice little black motorcycle coming in. That thing is fucking sexy. Son. And if I was single, I just I'd don't get want you all to get the girls. Hurt. I'll be fine. I'm going to be in like full leather helmet. I know you guys Yes, like yes, because you know a leather helmet definitely no. stops for you from <laughs> no, flying off actually. your motorcycle at 70 miles per an hour into a ditch. This, it's a it's like a beginner bike she said. it's a beginner bike listen i'll be careful i promise i like my parents would absolutely kill me if i got like a crazy bike you know yes we would yes we would also i have a background in mountain biking so like i know what i'm you doing. have a background in mountain biking <laughs> i do i also have plenty of scars i'm not worried about that doesn't first of all that's not an endorsement that's not helpful i'm not worried about that i'm worried about a car hitting you mac i'm worried about a car yeah. hitting you yeah it's the other drivers we don't trust. I mean, every day we wake up and we could die. So why not no, die? That's, that's that's no, that's such a sick on the back. Cut. No. Cut. No. Cut. That We're is such stopping a stopping that. No, that's such a bad thought. Guys, think of all the content I can make out of getting a motorcycle. <sighs> there it is. Oh. oh. There it Tell is. me I'm wrong. Think about my TikTok audience. Yeah, they're going to Think about your life. Yeah. Mac. Yeah. Your life long term. Okay. <laughs> Guys, um, it's going to be cool. I'll be careful. I promise. Pinky please promise. Please be careful. Stay off okay. the highway. I, no, okay? I seriously, I will be careful. I will I not say it. It's a leisure bike. Did you know you should really stay at 25 miles <laughs> an hour or under? That is the that is the brain injury level. 25 miles an hour. Okay. Guys, I have had plenty of brain injuries. I don't think I could take any more. Not that I'm, this is not helping really. Enough. Right. Yes. Right. Ashley, tell us about your, about your hookup. Your very, your hot, oh, hot please. hookup. I, so I, um, I met just the absolute cutest person on the fucking planet. Like, so. Oh at your show? Yeah, at my show. Well, I actually didn't meet them at the show. So I did a bad thing. I got on stage and, um, look, okay, so. I don't usually meet people IRL at shows. Not something that I like to do. But on this particular day, I was ovulating and really feeling myself. <laughs> we heard. Been there, done that. Yeah. So when I got on stage, I may have said, I asked everyone to meet me at the local lesbian bar because I was ovulating and feeling reckless. So you yes. said that like word for word. That's we were what you present. said. We were there. Yeah, I said I'm ovulating and feeling reckless. So then, like 200 lesbians <laughs> showed up, <laughs> showed up at the lesbian bar, and oh my God. when the person mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that I hooked up with came in, I literally did a double take. Do you want me to send you the link? <gasps> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Send, send us the link. link, then we can we can. Um... I just sent it to you guys. So now, and you can look at their profile. Oh, yeah. I think my jaw actually just dropped <laughs> unintentionally. <laughs> Holy. Oh. 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 <laughs> Bro, How lucky you did I get? Holy. Holy shit. How wow. lucky did I get? Aren't they so Holy hot? Shit. And they're so Jesus. smart. And they're so, like, creative. I'm sorry. Is she French? She, yeah, she looks French. Does she speak French? Did she speak French to you in bed? I have not asked her to do that. That's yet. like my dream. But you French, will? <laughs> French specifically. <laughs> I'm living through you. I think French uh, the French language is so fucking sexy. Yeah, you and everyone else. Yeah. They speak Spanish too. But I had the best time. Oh. I tell the for full story on my other podcast, but I swear to God, if you bring the number one rule of this podcast is stop talking about your other podcast. I can't. <laughs> it's my whole identity. But we, they took me home and took me to their apartment and they put blankets up on the roof 
and pillows and we like we sat under the fucked on the roof stars and the moon and we looked at the city skyline and we dry humped as well and it was very romantic and fun how does it feel to live my dream <laughs> Austin, <laughs> one day everything that the cum touches will be yours no. Ew. it's a lion king reference Ash. but i made it come instead of light i think that the that just crossed no one, line that. For me. no one got that no one got that yeah no it really didn't land sorry i'm also like only half here because i'm still scrolling through this person are you Instagram. into fat are you into femme people elena they're Absolutely. so femme uh, yeah but like they look like they would eat me alive Oh, I would be too scared. They're like one of those people, like Megan like Fox. Pout, like pout I'm like you're so it. hot, but if I saw you, I would like actually crumble. I couldn't do anything. Even if you came on to me, I would probably pass out. I was pretty nervous. The other thing that would made me so nervous about it is everyone was staring at me, staring at them. Well, yeah, because yeah. you invited, yeah. you basically brought your comedy show to the to the club. <laughs> yes, and I've never been in that situation before, but. And I feel pretty confident, but it was pretty nerve wracking to have everyone looking at me and then be like, okay, go ask this person out and then in be front like, of everyone. Hey, are you gay enough to let me buy you a drink? <laughs> mm. wow. That was kind of how it happened because they're like, they don't use like labels for anything. So it was kind of an mm-hmm. interesting situation to figure out whether or not they'd be into me, but we're still texting and talking. We talked like late oh into the night the other night. I don't know what I'm going to do because they're moving to another country next year. So I don't know. Don't do and, long distance. And you're like, no, I'm not. Are you like low key in love? <laughs> also, I am low key in love. Yeah, are you good? Yeah. yeah. So, well, the thing is, like, I don't. I have like a like kind of a main main situation, but that person is not in a serious place either. So, like, I'm just having fun until something changes. That's kind of how mm-hmm. I'm looking at life mm-hmm. right now. You guys have anything okay. going on romantically? No, Elena, you just said oh, you're fucking think. bored and in a good health and happy. Okay, but yeah, but that was last week. <laughs> Fuck that. Right. That's what all changed. <laughs> right, right. In this week that's what gone ha- by. Did anything happen? You get any huge fights? Any plates being thrown across the room? <sighs> no, no plates being thrown across the room. I think, I, I guess I could talk about, like, my own issues. Like, what the hell, how, what sure. I need to work on. Yeah, what do you need to work on? My problem is that I get, I mean, where to start? I have a few. Like, I fixate on, I think it stems from being like a people pleaser, right? Mm. So I want everybody to like me. I want everybody to be happy. I want to make sure everybody feels good all the time. So when I'm in a relationship, that is amplified, where I am just like fixated on like trying to make sure this other person is always feeling good. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so if something feels even slightly off, like I spiral mm. and like have a hard time regulating because I'm like so hyper focused on like how, how can I make sure this person make sure everything's perfect all the time instead of what I need to f- learn how to do and what I'm trying to practice doing and what I'm learning in therapy is like how to focus on how I'm feeling rather than fixating on how the other person's feeling because in reality you can't do anything about how the other person's feeling right you can do very little yeah do you guys i do you guys hardcore relate find to that? that like how do you regulate yourself within first of all do you guys have kind of people pleaser tendencies what are your oh my god what are your attachment styles Ooh. well now i have i feel like a much more healthy attachment style but i used to be like anxious I don't remember, but now I have a mm-hmm. secure attachment. But before, mm-hmm. I had I would f- get feel so guilty to the point if anything happened, I would I would kind of similar to what you're saying, I would feel guilt because my issues are like yeah. mostly guilt issues and shame issues. So like I would feel mm-hmm. guilt to the point where like all this person needed was space, and that's mm-hmm. the last thing I could provide. And now I'm working on building my instinct to be to give them space because even if something's wrong a little bit of space is usually not going to make things worse. If anything, you know, like you'll pick up if they need to talk to you about something, they'll talk to you about it. That's on them Mm -hmm. too. There's like, Mm -hmm. if you've done something wrong, your, your partner should feel comfortable saying to you, Hey, this, this bothered me or this made me feel this way. How are you doing? You know what I mean? And if you give them space, they'll do that. 
Right, but like what I'm, and that's that's great advice. I think what I'm more talking about is like when I haven't done anything wrong, but something else, something else, who knows? There's 10,000 things in everybody's lives, right? And something is affecting this person or whatever. And it's not that I've done something wrong, but I just spiral into mm -hmm. guilt and shame and all these things about like what I have done wrong. Like, yeah. well, could I have done this? Well, maybe they're annoyed about this. Maybe she's upset about this. Maybe I'm annoying her. Maybe she doesn't love me anymore. Maybe she wants to be away from me. But like, and then I get caught. I make it about me when it's yeah. like, or maybe she had a bad day at work. Like literally it could have nothing to do with you. And a weird so way. So I'm trying yeah. to learn how to like, self-regulate without yeah like putting that on the other person and then you're picking up their responsibilities too all of a sudden their issue becomes your issue and it creates a codependency loop that's very not healthy like if you're taking care of all their stuff you know what i mean right yeah so like i will want to take on all of the things that like I want I I'm, I'm trying to make it that unhealthy like loop mm -hmm. yeah right and then when when my partner like steps back from that and doesn't like doesn't want to engage in that unhealthy kind of like <laughs> let me letting me want to fix everything then I'm like what if I, what did I do wrong yeah yeah why won't what that is like and I'm just like spiraling over here over nothing yeah yeah what do you, how, help, how, help previous healed anxious attachment person? Well, I have the problem too. How did like, you evolve? Well, we've talked about, I feel like meditating, like putting space between oh, yeah. these reactions. Oh, wow. Like basically. Yeah, totally. I think being and that, in, that's what I've been doing. That's yeah. what I've been doing. It's not, I'm I working like on you've it. you've got it. But like for the listener at home, being able to take a breath and be like, mm -hmm. oh, this is a, I had a partner once who didn't have a job and I made her finding a job my responsibility and mm. she also let me take that on. So it was both, we were both in this really fucked up situation where I'm like trying yeah. to create a job for my partner. And it wasn't mm -hmm. until I got out of the relationship where I was like, why did I allow that to happen? Why, why yeah. was that my responsibility? And the reality is you, there's a difference between helping and taking mm -hmm. on the responsibility of another person. Mm -hmm. Well, and this is what my therapist is teaching me is I am, oh, we kind of talked about this last week, a little obsessed with control. <laughs> and so it's almost like my Fair. way of like, I'm just wanting to control everything, including yeah. the people around me's reactions to life, like an experience in the world. I want to like somehow curate it so that it's all perfect and good. And that's just not, so I'm, I'm trying to like in a, in part using you meditation. You said you were I'm anxious to, attachment? Hell yeah. I'm like okay. trying to bring it back to the question of just what's happening for me. Like what, yeah. what am, and what's happening over here? Elena, let me take a breath. I know that you were trying to mind control me by wearing that top today. And I just want to let you know <laughs> that it worked. I am under your control. I have a I'm secure attachment to that top. <laughs> I, I am securely attached to your collarbone right now. So secure. <laughs> with my teeth. <laughs> my teeth are securely attached to your body. In, in my, <laughs> I don't know that we gave you good advice, Elena, but. Yeah, I don't feel like we gave you any advice. I don't, ha I don't have no experience with that. We were literally like, hey, interesting problem, but um, you look really hot right now. <laughs> interesting problem, but your body, though. <laughs> can I, oh, can wow. I bite you? Can I bite? <laughs> I think you, Elena, it sounds like you're halfway there. You know what to deal with. You, you know the issue. Yeah. You just have to yeah, focus on Yeah, no, and I'm not saying it breathing. like, oh, this is a, I'm not saying it like, oh, I'm, there's some problem here. More is just like something I've been thinking about over the last week and like, mm -hmm. Because, you know, last time I was saying about being in a healthy, happy relationship, it's quite like it, there's not that much going on. What is going on is it's almost like a mirror where where I'm like, oh, I don't have an issue in the relationship to fixate on. So you're creating Let me one. create yes. something. Oh, yes. wow. Yes. Yeah. yes. 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 And I've never had that before yes. because I've never not had something to fixate on. And now that I don't have something to fixate on. Oh, surprise, surprise, still fixating. Yeah. Just on <laughs> made really up things now. Yes, I've, I've also recently 
I'm not in a relationship. Life is awesome. There are some things that I'm dealing with, but man, my brain blows them up. My, my brain mm. really makes them bigger than they need to be all yeah, the time. Oh my God, yes. Okay, Mac, tell us a bit about everything that we've just said here. How's your attachment style? Mac! <laughs> no, because like Did we've you just take talked notes? about how we are a bit in relationship. I want to know how Mac, yeah. how that you was really in interesting. relationship. Um, I was told that I was avoidant attachment in my previous relationship. Um, and so sounds I was fully healthy. convinced that that's that kind of what I was. So healthy. Yeah. Oh, a per- another mm-hmm. person was like diagnosing yeah. you with a, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, yeah. Really um, healthy stuff there. Love that. It was great. So I was kind of convinced about that. In my new relationship though, I think I'm more probably on the secure side because I still have those tendencies that I dealt with before that made me feel like I was avoidant. Like I wouldn't want to share things because I didn't want to rely on another person and be vulnerable Mm -hmm. with them. And then like, what if they're gone and they leave and I don't have that support anymore? Like that was a big Mm -hmm. thing for me. But Mm. I mean, my new partner just like, we communicate so well, it blows my fucking mind. Like we've had issues that have come up and it's always like, what do you need? Do you want some space? And then she can kind of read if I'm just like, I don't know what's going on in my head and like that kind of thing. And will give me space and then we come back and we talk about it. And I mean, I used to have so much trouble with stonewalling with my old partner because I didn't Mm. feel like I could talk to her because I felt like she was going to get really angry with me. And also, my like new partner would, knows you about would that. You do the stonewalling. I was doing the stonewalling. And that like I knew that it was bad, but I couldn't, cold. like I didn't know yeah. how to stop doing it because I was so scared to like talk about stuff. And mm-hmm. my new girlfriend will sit there with me on FaceTime for like an hour while I try to speak. And like she'll just mm-hmm. sit with me and like we'll work through mm-hmm. it. And That's her patience, so like it has changed everything because I've grown so much with her. Like it was things that I never thought I would be able to address and I would just be the same way because it's the same way my dad is. Mm -hmm. And so I was pretty convinced that like, this is just how I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna have to deal with it, like whatever. And no, we like work through stuff and we talk about stuff and the patience and that she gives me is just, I mean, she is really incredible. Like it's really wonderful. But you also have, you gotta take some credit for the work you're doing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's That's not really nice. it's not been easy coming from No. no I relate to my dad way too much. Like I just took on too many of his tendencies. And so unlearning that and I can't speak for my little sister, but she deals with similar stuff just from our parents. Unlearning mm-hmm. that, oh my gosh, it's so hard. Yeah, it's really hard. But, but it's you find people that are willing to work through it with you. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, That's you just so it's something you have to work through and therapy's been great too. It's oh so Yeah, sorry to like shit on you guys. No, no, no. <laughs> It's what do like you mean? You didn't, no, you I'm like yeah, every, everything's great. <laughs> no, I'm saying the same thing essentially. Yeah, you know that like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's when you, you, we're saying a, a similar thing with it with different specifics that like when you're that in a healthy place with someone, it actually allows for that kind of like growth and yeah, that, the recognition that, and the growth. Yes, you're reminding Absolutely. me. It's it's so funny because like I am so emotional, and sometimes <laughs> I feel like my emotions are are too big for another person. Mm-hmm. And I've been yeah. ashamed in relationships for feeling s- so much. And when I was, mm-hmm. and I'll just, when I was dating Jen, who is like not as emotional a person as I am, and she was just like, the back and forth, the healthy back and forth, where, when she was like, I love your emotions. Like, I'm glad, I'm glad to know what you're feeling. And then on the other side, mm-hmm. I've been in your girlfriend's position, Mac, where I just sit there waiting, yeah. you know, for people to express themselves. And then when mm-hmm. they finally do, I always say, thank you for telling me that. It mm-hmm. makes it so much easier for me to understand what you have going on and it makes it easier for me to be a better partner for you. I'm like, thank- yeah. thankful that you said that to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just being able to Absolutely. have grat- like show gratitude to the other person for who they are, you know, mm-hmm. even and, if it's- And meeting yeah. people where they're at. Yeah, mm-hmm. meeting you people know, where like they're we're at. All, we're all doing the best that we can. Yeah. What a what a mm-hmm. beautiful little conversation this is. Yeah, this is blossoming. Yeah. Um blossoming. no emotion or feeling is too small to bring up is something else that I've realized in my new relationship. Mm-hmm. Like if it's just a moment where I feel like <laughs> I didn't like that we said something this way or I didn't like that this happened or something like that and I'm like whatever it'll fizzle out, it'll go away. No, I just bring it up now because she's grateful that 
I said something about it. And in the long run, you know, it just helps us communicate better. You're mm-hmm. on the other side. Because you're now, for me, I have to be like, Ashley, just drop this one. Because I'm on yeah. the more emotional I'm there side. Too. Yeah. I have to be yeah, like, yeah, yeah. this is a mm-hmm. non-issue, you piece of shit. And let it go. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. knowing yourself to be like, which which side of the spectrum do I fall on? Okay, yeah. I'm going gonna, yeah. gonna to kind of try and crank the other direction up mm-hmm. so that I can be mm-hmm. more balanced. You know? Yeah. Because if I Some had- of us have to practice like- like let pick it go. your battles let it, let it go, it go. Yeah, and yeah, some yeah. of us have to practice sharing yeah exactly yeah that makes sense wow oh this is a really deep episode really deep episode wow. do we have time elena do wow. you have a question that you liked or yeah, should we should go to we... a lighter question because we're let me 30 oh, in. just opened up my instagram and i'm looking at oh no the hottest person alive congratulations my main squeeze ashley <laughs> should i text them should i text yeah, them you like i'm talking about you on another podcast it'll be like you, me and my two wait. co-hosts are all drooling, drooling. Over you. Wait, wait, live wait. live on air hello i'm i'm recording another podcast right now and i'm talking about you again and everyone thinks you're really hot <laughs> ashley that's um, so cute that i do the same thing notes. with my girlfriend i'm like i talked about you way too much <laughs> that's cute um sorry now there's Oh my god, there's just like so many more now. It's like hard to find <laughs> ones. I was looking at mommy, before. mommy, mommy, it's mommy. Don't do the dirty, so the 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 femme dirty voice. The, the dirty that's like voice. not what I'm trying to do. What I guess I'm realizing it's, people are gonna people like are that. gonna love it. I mean, there's a lot of questions about the three of us because I put a little like I let's take one of those of because we're, we're 30 there. minutes in. So maybe a little okay, light well, one. Okay, well, basically. People want to know if me and Mac are dating. Mm-hmm. That's no. so stupid. <laughs> We're not dating. That's her son. Ashley's mad pervert. that she's left out. You pervert. Yes, that's totally what it is. You pervert. <laughs> How dare Ashley, you? Ashley, you ex nayed Mac so early last episode already for being too young. So you can't be mad now. That's yeah. True. Um, no, we're not dating. <laughs> Um, I can't believe people are still asking that. A lot of people asking, like, if we're going to meet in person and when we're going to meet in person. Wouldn't you like to know? Uh, well, by the time this comes out, will we have met in person already? Or it will might. this be out before that? It might. We might have met in person. The ultimate we collab. Soon. Listener. Soon. Are you ready for the ultimate collab on our YouTubes? Zoom. 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 <laughs> listener um oh interesting okay just quick can two people having their first time give each other stis for the most part no depends what but depends what you define as first time because there are many ways to get stis okay and also you can be born there are stis that are transferred in in utero or whatever and so you should get tested regardless always get tested Mm -hmm. always know your status have no shame in sharing your status or asking someone for their status. I always share mine before I go into sex and let people know what I'm comfortable with. Yeah. Who Who is the simpiest simp? I feel Me. Like we could end on that. We could, That's just, we a could great... all talk about what kind of simp we are. I'm the biggest simp on the fucking planet, and I have simp I... stories that'll blow you out of the fucking water. I... My, my symptom, my simpness cannot Maybe be Maybe take you on that. I don't know. I think I could challenge you. I'm I also sad. challenge. I think we should let the viewers decide. I simp hard. I think we all do, though. We're, We're all simps. simps. That's what big brought simps. us together somehow, yeah. probably. Big simpin on this podcast big, recording. Big, big simp energy. <laughs> What's the simpiest thing you've ever done, Mac? Um, fly acro- across the country bi-monthly to see my long-distance girlfriend when my love language is physical touch and I never I'm get it. Standard. Nothing. No, don't standard, standard me. Hack. Think standard. about my age. I get you a couple points because I'm younger. Lesbian on don't, the planet. We, we've all done that. Yeah. Guys, wh- I moved to the UK in the middle of a global pandemic. <laughs> Fuck. The middle of a global that just pandemic. ended me. Dropping the hammer of simp, the simp hammer. <laughs> No, that's pretty good. Yeah, that that's not even my simpiest. I wouldn't even. I don't simp- know well, I what my simpiest your, is. Yeah, what's your simpiest? Because I'm gonna just make you guys look like such little. You're gonna look like so independent. Oh, I hate that you're waiting. You're Bro, setting us up. I know. I hate it up. too. Now I'm like, I don't even want to do She's it. She's using us as wanna. the as the bounce board. She's just <laughs> Ashley. Just say it. I you just go. So, like I said to you guys, I like was trying to help that girl get a job. I fully 
financially supported my ex-partner she had we had shared a bank account we lived in an apartment and when we broke up i let her stay in my place for 10 months because i was so in love with her and so obsessed with her i just let her walk all over me i i am it's sad it's not even funny like everyone's like no it's not like i that's actually fucked when i talk about having a mental recovery i'm not joking like like I put it at drug level, the way that my brain mm, responds yeah. to love. Mm-hmm. I, I consider myself like a codependent in recovery from codependency addiction. Like that's how I look at it. So yeah, I ruined my financial life. <laughs> you, no okay. one is laughing. Yeah. You guys are just fully like, Ashley, this is so upsetting. <laughs> no, I actually feel like you're fucking is- with me right now. That's insane, dude. Yeah, that's a little upsetting. I feel yeah, a little yeah. bit upset. I, I, I'm mad at her for <laughs> taking advantage of you, honestly. Yeah, like I'm like, just I'm sad angry. for past Ashley that that happened. But um, I don't but know that what? I would have gotten my life together the way because exiting that situation it was so it was a lot of people live in the medium right i got to go to the depths of the ocean of despair (laughs) to look myself in the eye and be like Mm -hmm. what do you want your life to be because this sucks yeah and i would not be where i am today if i hadn't had that moment okay Okay, so i you know you guys are really quiet right now and i feel embarrassed no 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 you shouldn't feel embarrassed i think i'm quiet because i'm looking for ways to relate Um, i'm just like holy shit (laughs) i'm not not quiet like judging you quiet i'm quiet like trying to i'm just taking in i'm taking in what you. i'm quiet like i just got fucking owned and i could never like (laughs) yeah yeah max like i've got you all i flew across the country my country my home country that i live in twice (laughs) yeah i was i've been in some really unhealthy relationships and just so everyone knows for my story this is not the only public ex that i have is jen and uh from my like public life or whatever and jen is like a wonderful human being and would oh yeah i don't do think it. anybody thinks you're talking about just jen. in case people think that but go on Matt. okay yeah not just talking about jen i had an experience with a girl where um she made me sleep on the couch because we were watching a movie and another girl's boobs were on screen and she got upset because i saw another girl's boobs so she had me sleep on the couch and you allowed oh. that to happen see that uh, yeah. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. I didn't know what to well, do. Well, yeah, what are you supposed to do? You can't be like, no one. She was like very bed. upset because she was claiming that I got turned on by it. And let me tell you, my face was like literally mundane the entire time. My face didn't But even if, it wasn't, even if it wasn't, even if it wasn't, even if she was like, I know you like that the- actress. I was like, yeah. And what if you, you did? Which, what if you did get turned on by the boobies? It, exactly. That's like a totally normal response to boobies. I know. I'm like, yes. thank God everything works. It's kind of fucked. <laughs> You're right, son. You're right. <laughs> Why didn't you just say that? Why didn't you just say that to Yo, this girl? I'm sure that would have gone over Sorry, great. Aren't you glad? There was no arguing. There no, really yeah. was no. There was leaving or staying. I do oh, think that letting yourself yeah. be a doormat is actually bad in a relationship because <laughs> oh great wow breaking no, news. no 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 hot take not hot just take not just Ashley. for you not just for you for the other person if you yeah, stand totally. up for yourself boundaries and you are good for boundaries everybody. are good for everybody and that's yeah. like such an insane scenario mm-hmm. but like yeah I think I don't know for me with I think bringing just back to simping for me like there's a you got to draw that line between simping and like hurting yourself yeah boundaries yeah oh yeah Mm -hmm. when i think of simping see this is interesting because i think of simping as like a positive thing but then ashley you took it to a place of financial ruin so (laughs) first of all i'm fine but check out our patreon also but i'm fine (laughs) no i guess for me yeah but they're closely linked like you can overdo yeah, it. Yeah, there's a fine line. You there's a fine it. line. Yeah. Not at your own expense all the time. There's a different, you know, like you can do an act of service for somebody that involves some sacrifice, mm-hmm. but you shouldn't be sacrificing to the point where you become a worse partner, you know? Mm. That your own mental worse, health is, yeah. yeah. 
All right, I overshared. I over. I Ooh. said too much. You, no, you didn't. You absolutely did not. You did not overshare. This was just Don't a really a like second. deep episode. I can't, I can't even begin to imagine what we had for dinner. Yeah, what I, did we have? This for, was. I'll, I feel like this Mac, was like a great hosting. That was great hosting. Great job. Mm-hmm. Great transition. Fuck way to yeah. way to put this podcast on a leash. Fuck yeah. No. Cut that. I feel like that sounded sexual. I don't want people having sound bites of me saying like sexual things because they will make TikTok edits. It's too late. It's you, have a <laughs> yeah, you have a sure. podcast now, Mac. <laughs> what was this? It was um, a it was a big meal. Maybe we ate too much. Like I want to <laughs> say, this was like multiple courses. You know, oh, like yeah. this, it kept on coming. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. It was course after course after course. And no one asked for that dessert when I brought out that twelve layer <laughs> chocolate cake. Everyone was but like, "This is it. too much." And then I made. But we eat. ate it. Yeah, we did eat it. I don't think you made us. I think you were like, oh, if you guys are too full, it's fine. And we were like, we're not too full. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So hungry. So hungry still. Um, should I be embarrassed? I feel embarrassed. No, not at all. No. no, you no. Be, oh, my God. You, be, you shouldn't be embarrassed at all. I just, we're all sharing stories. I, I just want people at home to know if they're in a bad situation, you don't have to be there because I felt stuck in bad yeah, situations. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 I think what you said was really important. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you for appeasing me. All right. Of course. Thank you for sharing your worries and that you were having feelings and then allowing us to appease them. <laughs> we, we, I would have never Family known trauma. you felt embarrassed if you hadn't said. That's true. Wow. That's true. This is so healthy. All right. I think we need a break after that cake. <laughs> My shirt is slowly coming unzipped in the back. I just realized. Oh. oh. <laughs> Come on. It is. <laughs> She said they're not giving me enough attention about my top anymore. (laughs) Yeah, let's talk about my top some more. I share my most vulnerable story in the entire world. Elena's like, gross. Can we just get undressed and fuck already? Jesus Christ. Let's take our shirts off. (laughs) You shouldn't be embarrassed at all. Oh, no. My zipper. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Thank you, Mommy, for saving the day with that. All right. If you want to write oh, in, God. this has been Chosen Family. It's chaos. If you want to write <laughs> yeah. in, follow us on Instagram. We post on our stories, and you can write in, and we will read mm-hmm. listener stories. Miss Fender with two R's for Elena Joy. Mm-hmm. Mac Injimi for Mac Injimi. And then Ashcabs <laughs> for me. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thanks for being here. Make sure you comment if you're watching this on YouTube. Share it with your friends. We are just getting started, so yeah, any kind are. of support is super helpful emotional Um, at this stage in the game Mm -hmm. especially emotional for me right now okay (laughs) all right chosen family is a forever dog production hosted by ashley gavin elena joy and mac and jimmy edited by danny jewel executive produced by mariah nicholas forever dog productions is joe cilio alex ramsey and brett boehm forever